What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Now I usually don't do a part 2 to the Wednesday's weekly report, but I made two mistakes in the video and I apologize for that. It was just me not looking through the cards thoroughly enough. But with Brigetti here, Brigetti, Brigetti, I'm sure I'm not sure how to say her name still here. But I said you can search your deck for a basic Pokemon EX or three basic Pokemon. And I kind of just stopped reading from there. I just kind of assumed they went straight to your hand. I, you know, usually when you see these cards, they always go into your hand. They never go into your bench. But Brigetti, or Bridge, Bridge Gitti, I'm not sure it's their name. It actually goes straight up to the bench. And in the last video, I said that you can use, you know, you can search for a Hoopa, get the Hoopa to search for more EX Pokemon. But you can't do that because Hoopa says it's got to be from your hand onto your bench while the Brigetti just puts it straight onto your bench. So it does not work that way, and I apologize for that. I do not want people to be doing that. Of course, you know, I don't want them to uh, be like, yo, Squeaky said I could do this, and I'm like, yo, I made a mistake, and I apologize for that. So Brigetti it does not let you put it to your hand. It's onto the bench. So anything that lets you <laughs> put out, like, a Shame Nix, you can't. You know, Brigetti for Shame the X, put it down, draw six cards. It doesn't work that way. It just goes straight onto your bench. It doesn't go into your hand. A little bit of a downside, but I still think Brigetti is a great card because it lets you get three basic Pokemon, and three is amazing. You know, like you need two Bronzors, maybe, or maybe three Bronzors so that way they don't get knocked out. Um, I don't, you know, there's so many possibilities. You can get like a Xerneas and two Spritzies, which is great for that way. Uh, so I still think Brigetti is a great setup card for turn one if you can get it out. And if you need to search your deck for that one crucial basic Pokemon EX, like a Keldeo or uh, maybe a Dark Ride, because those, those still activate when you put on the bench automatically. So those cards could work great that way. Now, next mistake was Mega Glalie here. I said, you know, if it says if this Pokemon has 10 or more damage counters on it, this attack does 150 more damage. Now, in my mind, in my guess, in my brain, in my head, I imagine when it said this Pokemon has 10 or more damage counters on it, I was thinking about those little, you know, those one damage counters that say 10 on it. You know, usually when you think of 10 damage counters, I think of just a singular damage counter counter if that makes sense at all because when you look at damage counters they have the 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 i think they should have worded this as a hunt 100 damage on it if this pokemon has 100 damage on it or more this tag does 150 more damage which is what is needed to actually activate the cryo mouth i did not realize that and i i still stand by that the wording is very confusing because in my head i See, a lot of people use the Japanese damage counters, which have the 10 damage counters on them. And that's where I got confused at. And I apologize for that. That is just something I just didn't even realize. Um, this is a problem when you work by yourself and you don't have any, you know, body telling you what information there is out there and what could be, you know, wrong. And I don't have people approve of stuff. So it's just two simple mistakes on my part here. I don't think Mega Galilee would be that useful now just because it needs 100 damage on it. And by then it has 120 HP left and anybody can knock it out. So, Mega Glalie probably would not make the list for sure, uh, but still a very interesting card. I love the the, the text, uh, the card, uh, just how he's like eating the Japanese words. It's very cool. Uh, I thought it doesn't have a full art. I thought I had a full art for some reason, but it doesn't. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, I apologize for those two mistakes. They do happen. Uh, it, like I said, it is, I am working by myself. There's nobody saying, yo, uh, this is perfect video. You didn't make any mistakes. And then... There's some, you know, I do make mistakes, and I try to fix those as quickly as I can. I don't want people going to cities using Mega Galilee, putting 10 damage on it with, like, a Frozen City or something. And then I don't want people using Brigetti to get a Shaman or a Hoopa to do, do their abilities when you can't use those. So, once again, I apologize for that. I am very, very sorry. But I hope you have a great Wednesday. Thanks for watching the last video. It's very, I love that you guys are very interactive in the comment section. And you let me know where I messed up and ha help me out. And when I say I do a great job. So, have you, hopefully you have a great Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Alrighty.